Welcome back everyone, this is now chapter 10. We're going to do some of the backtracking now and we're going to do quite a lot of side missions before we do the main story. So as we are in the atrium once again, we want to track the mission you are not authorized for the side mission. So this should be the last rig to get your master clearance code. So at the moment the game is trying to take you down here anyway. But as the game is taking you down here, we want to ignore that marker going through the door to the left and just go back on yourself. Down the dead end, you will find your very last rig for the side mission. And then, yeah, you guessed it. Once you've done it, then you need to take all your rigs that you found throughout the story back to the nest to get the clearance card. And now once we've got the master clearance card, we can now get the weapon upgrade high yield grenades. This will be for the pulse rifle. And plus we get a node as well. So I think chapter three I got this. But now since we actually got the clearance card, we can now get it for you guys. So enter the first elevator you see in the atrium. As soon as we leave, it'll be the first door to your right. Once again, you'll get the upgrade here, and then you'll get a node just to the right. Right now, we're going to go back to a different location. We're going to go to the bridge. So this is as soon as you get off. Sorry, tell light. We're going to go back to the tram, and then we're going to head to the mining section. Once we get to the um, the mining area, well, mining, that's engineering, we want to get off the mining section. Now we're going to backtrack now into hydroponics. And as soon as you get off the elevator, the level 5 crate is just to the right. And now head back into the mining section. And now we're going to go into the mining area now. So we need to go unlock that door as well. And the only thing we're going to unlock this time is going to be a contact beam upgrade. I don't know why it says I haven't got this gun or the upgrade because I know I got it on the last play for it.
Right now we're going to go to the next upgrade, this will be the carbon fibre blades. So this one is located in, I was going to say the bridge section, but I'm not too sure at the moment until we get there. Oh, it's engineering, okay. For some reason I thought it was a bridge or something. But anyway, I did already grab this one during a run. And I did explain, or I didn't really explain, but I did put a text on saying this will be grabbed later on in the chapters. So this is also during a side mission for, the, I think it's scientific methods, or it might be... Um, I think scientific method is Nicole, but anyway, it's, it's run a Nicole side mission. Or it might be the malpractice one. Either or. Once we are here, we just want to grab this chest now, because you're now able to. For me, once again, it's empty, so this is where it'll be. And now we'll head back to the tram. We're now going to get another contact beam. Medical. So now we're going to head to the medical bay. We are now going to go back to where we saw the scientist fleeing or crying for help. And then that tentacle thing decided to shoot his head off. It really doesn't matter which way you go. You can go through here or down the bottom. They both lead the same way. Now in this room you will find an upgrade and you'll find some ammo and stuff. And now we're going to continue on for now, so head into the crew deck, so this is your first new area, your next new area, sorry. This will be the crew quarters. So as soon as you enter you will find a shop, save point and among other things. Now follow the objective marker, you can't really miss it. Once again, to get into this locker room, there are two ways you can do it. You can go left or you can go right. But in the locker room, you will find your advanced engineering rig. This should be level five. And there shouldn't be no more rigs now to find. And now for the achievement Z Bowler. Well, it's not really an achievement, sorry. It's a log. We're going to get first because Z ball rules. But now we're going to do the achievement called Z ball. But we need to do the Z ball anyway because we've got to get level six to have access to the node and the Ruby semiconductor. So this is extremely easy to do. All we got to do is shoot the balls through the hoop. And if you see a hoop that is flashing, it will give you double points. So make sure you take advantage of that as much as possible. Now, I'm not going to show you all this. This is a very basic game to do. You need to get to level 6. That is the requirement to get your node and your Rubik and Semiconductor. Basically, as soon as you get the score required, you'll get the achievement as well. So since we're here, we must power this up. That's where we need to go anyway. But before we do that, we want, well, after we do that, we can now access all the lockers.
And now for the suit level five, just go to any shop, doesn't really matter. And then this will cost, I think is 60,000. But I'm not 100% sure. And now follow the main objective. This may feel quite a long time getting here because chapter 10 is quite a lengthy chapter. But eventually you will come here as all part of the story. So before heading through that door, look over to the bar in the middle section, you will find a roomy semiconductor. But now once we access the door in front, be careful you'll get ambushed to the left. And the left path, that's where we need to go anyway, and grab the node. So now we're going to get the thank you, Doctor. So as soon as you enter this place here, you will find a door barricaded by chairs and lockers. In this room alone, you will find a thank you, Doctor. Located on the bunk beds to the right hand side. Now for the next node, this is very, very close. So as we're looking for the next thing to destroy, in the right room here, before we do that, there will be a power uh, thing in this room that we need to have anyway. We need to bring this with us. So in this same room, there will be a node as well. Make sure you bring the power thing as well. You're going to need it. And now, for the weapon upgrade, graphic, or what do we call it? Is activate the side mission, the scientific methods. This should be your final one from the coal now. Can't really do much, just follow the line on the ground. As you may see, there's a lot of yellow things that you can shoot. It's one of the games will part of the story, so shoot them as well. Now, as soon as you enter this story mission location, you have to sit through a lengthy conversation or a lengthy video that you can need to watch. Now, wait for it to finish, and then finally, this door to the right of them screens will unlock, containing the weapon upgrade, and then your last and final little video clip here that you need to activate. Then watch another about three to four minutes worth of this, and then you'll finish completely with the side mission. No related freak activity has been logged. Now for the marker and for the next weapon upgrade. So once we leave this area, as soon as we get back into the main section, so right here, we want to turn left and go for the door to the left. In this room here, you will find another power node thing. Now, once we grab this power, you want to take it outside again and go to the right and power the door up to the right of us. Be careful, there will be this regenerator out here again. And a few enemies will spawn as well. Right now, power the door up. Then finally, this door will be accessible. There we go. That's the one. If you don't use that power, then this door will be locked. As soon as you enter, you will find the marker fragment in here and the next weapon upgrade.
And also there's the gold semiconductor as well in this room. I think we're doing pretty well with these semiconductors. I don't know if I missed any or not. No clear. No idea. Right now, just follow the main mission. Now, once you get into this fancy room, you will find that there's a log next to the bench to the left. Now, once you venture further in, you will get into this like luxury room or the luxury quarters section. Then right in the middle, you will find your next log. Now the next log is in the next room. I think it's to the right of us. Because the left rooms are locked for now. Okay, never mind. The right rooms are locked, not the left. Ends of the first room to your left. This is where you need to place all 12 markers that eventually we will find. But in the back of this room, you will find your log. And now for the whitelist, log is in the next room to the left. And now the next node and the next gold semiconductor is once we go a bit further on, so follow the story. In this room here, there will be a main mission where you need to destroy one of these things again. And then you will find a key card in this room as well. This will gain you access to one of the two doors that is locked. As soon as you activate that, you will find another power switch in here that you can shoot to unlock the door to the left. So now there will be a monster in here and there will be a gold semiconductor in this room as well. So use your level 5 clearance or master clearance to grab it. And now go into the next room and you will find a node on the wall. And now we're going to get to the very, very final last thing that we need to blow up next to the wall. And you'll find that doctor. I oh, know I just realized I've been saying his name wrong, but I'm not going to say it because I'm not going to say it wrong anyway. But in the room after you meet that doctor for the first time, there will be a fragment marker here, or marker fragment here. And then right next to that, there will be a log. And then there'll be one of them things that you need to blow up as part of the story. And now the final things we're going to grab is the node. So now eventually we can now press this switch to move the marker away from us. And once you press this, the door to the left will now be open. As soon as you go through, there will be a node once again on the wall to the left. So this will be the last node of this chapter. So you guys and girls in chapter 11.